Hello everyone. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is for my update on the Crafty Goals with Amalia. Um, but it started, I believe, last year. I don't know if it started out the year before, but I started following along with um, the the participants in this collab last year and I decided to join in officially this year when she opened it up again at the beginning or the end of last year and everyone's links will be in the description below so you can go and um, check them out and see what goals they are working on and how they are doing at achieving them. Um, this is just a collab to kind of get you to focus on different um, goals that you would like to achieve. Um, it can be crafty goals, personal goals, business, um, anything that you want to try to track. Um, here is a look at my calendar for July. I did pick up a few extra or did do a few extra um, videos in July. I did um, do a project share video where I showed a couple of swaps that I had completed before I sent them out and then I did a Christmas in July collab so that went up on the 18th and the 25th and the 25th I had three collabs in one day that needed to be posted so that was kind of crazy uh, for me to try to get those all up and scheduled I don't know what's going on with my with YouTube my phone I don't know if my internet or what I've never had any trouble ever getting things to upload and here in these last few weeks probably about the last month maybe I can't get anything to go up so I'm hoping that I can actually get this video up um, you know a four minute video is taking hours to upload when normally it would take 20 maybe 30 minutes tops and it's taking I have a four minute four four minute 45 second video right now that I'm trying to get uploaded. It's on my phone. I'm recording this on my tablet. Um, but the one on my phone, I've had to stop and delete it. It keeps pausing. Uh, I don't, I've had to delete it, like cancel out of my uploads about five times. And it just will get so far along, like 20 or 30%. And then it just sits there on uploading and does nothing. It's like it's freezing. I don't know what is going on, but it's about to make me go insane. <laughs> Enough to where I'm like, I'm just going to quit doing these videos because they're not going up good. They're frustrating the crap out of me and <laughs> I cannot stand it. So I'm hoping I can do this one real fast. If it's on my tablet, um, maybe it'll go up a little bit better. I don't know. I will see. So this is what my July... Um, video calendar looks like um, this is not an actual video that was just where I had to mail something out and that's just where I wanted to remind myself of when partners were being posted for a swap so here is kind of my mess of how I keep up with my goals um, for July I really was kind of off with my craftiness I mean I kind of had a lot several there's a lot of days where I just completely did nothing I mean I just kind of really didn't have much crafty mojo in the month of July it seems like um, my numbers are definitely down um, crochet I've got all kinds of projects in my head that I want to do but getting me to actually sit down and work on them is another thing so I did nothing again in July and sorry this is so shaky I'm trying to hold this bulky tablet in my hand um, for jewelry I did kind of kill it on jewelry I had 18 pieces it looks like that I worked on um, let me go back here because I don't remember oh wait is it 18? There's no way I did 18 pieces. Let me look again at my calendar or my. Um, I did four necklaces. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Um, 
the projects that I made for my June um, Having Fun Making Jewelry collab. I made m several more of the same pieces for my mom and my aunt. So that's four, five, six, seven pieces right there. And then I did a bracelet and another necklace and earring set, which I'll show here in a second. I think I already showed them, but in a previous video, I can't remember. Um, down here, this is what I made for the Having Fun Making Jewelry collab for July. A bracelet, um, some earrings, and an anklet. This was a beach theme or summer theme. And then I did, let me come over here. Um, I made a dangle charm for a swap. Um, I'm going to be uploading a video pretty soon. This package is going to be going out in the mail hopefully tomorrow to my partner. I've already got my package from her. But I really feel bad that I have not got it uploaded yet. But I know it's going to take... It's probably going to be a, a decent sized video to be able to show all the, all the beautiful stuff that she sent me. And I'm just worried about how long... It's going to take me to get that up on my channel. I guess I need to just record it and then worry about the upload time later. Um, and then I made, let me see here. That's the end. Okay, I know I did something. Oh, yes. And then I made a pair of disco ball earrings and three pairs of Christmas earrings. That was in my Christmas in July collab. So I'll show all those. I'll show a good bit of those jewelry pieces here in just a minute. The ones that I was able to pull off my desk that I actually have. Um, for cross stitch, I only worked two hours. Uh, one of those hours, I completed the piece that I was really close to completing last month. So I'll go ahead and show that real super fast. Here is, it's called Into the Jungle by Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And this was such a fun, fun stitch. I love that each square was a different animal and it was almost like I had a little finish every time I completed a square that had a finish within my piece. So there are all of the adorable little animals. Now this coming month I'm hoping I'm gonna try my best to get this somewhere like Hobby Lobby or somewhere and get it framed. I can't wait to get a pretty mat put around it. And this is the last one that I completed. This one was kind of giving me fits because I got off one stitch in the middle here, but I kind of fudged it to where it you don't even notice it now. And I really can't even tell myself where I was off because I was able to make it work. So that is the piece. I'm so excited to have this finished. I started it back in, I think, 2015 or 16 whenever it was that this was released. This was a stitch along, meaning they released one square each month for the whole year. Um, they released like the border and I think maybe one of the squares. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, there's 12 squares. So for month one, you got the border, which has the title and all of the squares. And you get you got the little sloth in the middle. And then each month after that, they just randomly like sent you one of the squares. And so you never saw the full piece until December. And so I was doing good when this was first, when it first came out, I was working on it. I made it through about the first four or five squares. And then I started slacking, like it would take me longer to get my square done. And then before I knew it, I wasn't working on it at all. And then it was a few, a couple of years. I pulled it out, finished a bunch of squares for during stitch mania and then I ended up having about three or four squares remaining and then I just finished it this year <clears throat> so that is super exciting I'm so happy to have this done because I love this piece and I'm so glad that it's done so there that was my one of my hours of cross stitch and my second hour that I worked on a few nights ago I started a baby sampler for my niece who's having a baby. It'll be my mom and dad's first great grandbaby. So that's exciting. Um, I did not kill. Oh, I did not um, kill out one paper pad for July. There was a pad I started. Um, I started a pad June the 1st and I finished it July 12th. 
so that was called Journeys for anyone who watched my Smash That Small Paper Pad collab. Um, and then I am in process right now of working on another pad. Um, I did not use any kits in July. Uh, for Christmas cards, I did 11, 10 for my 10 on the 10th collab, and one more I did for the Great American Stash Bash, which that is the collab that is... And now my upload says pending on that four-minute video. That is ridiculous. I just don't know what is going on with that. I may or may not get that video up for the um, Great American Stash Bash. It's supposed to go up the 31st, and... It's almost the 1st of August. Um, for 30 greeting cards, like I said, I kind of lost my crafting mojo. So I only did 7, but I was killing it for the first um, 6 months of the year. So I'm still well above what I, would, what I was hoping to have. I did not do any happy mail this month or racks. Um, I didn't do any actual organizing in any of my crafting areas. Um, I did work a couple hours throughout the month um, organizing recipes into different binders. All the recipes I, I love to print off of Pinterest. I'm kind of addicted to Pinterest. <laughs> and so I've been trying to organize those. And then I worked some in the kitchen, cleaning and organizing on my counters. So I didn't put anything down here because it's not crafting. But I did do some organizing um, for <clears throat> four albums or folios. For the year I did create another folio for a, the swap that I'm working on or that I'm going to be sending out and I will be doing a, a video that I will show everything I made for my partner and that will go up on my channel once I know she has received it um, five ATCs a month normally I'm really well above that I did four this month so down there um, 10 videos on my channel. I did do 14, well, 13 if my Great American Stash Bash doesn't upload. Um, and I did not do any giveaways this month, this and, or this past, in July. And I did not, again, participate in any challenges. I keep saying every month I need to do that. I always run across channels that are doing like birthday challenges, subby challenges, and I really have great intentions of getting in on them and something always happens that I just don't make it, I don't get things sent in. And I hate that because I really want to be supporting my fellow crafters. Okay, so that is what I, um, that's kind of my goals, what I've been doing, um, I get the theme every month there is a word for this collab I never ever think to mention it um, but the month of July was prepare I guess in my case I really need to start being better prepared with my videos um, maybe I wouldn't have such uh, you know, headache if I would had my videos done two or three days ahead that I would have a little bit more breathing room to kind of worry about getting them uploaded. But I just don't know what's going on with why. I don't know if it's my phone is low on memory. I have so much stuff on it. Maybe it's, or if it's like, you know, it's slowing things down. Or could be my Wi-Fi or I have my internet through Spectrum. Um, they did tell me a few days ago, or just a few weeks ago, I was in there to see about going from TV, internet, and phone all down, down to just internet because I don't ever watch TV. My daughter watches Netflix on her phone and YouTube and stuff. And we just don't really watch TV. And they told me we have an old, like an old modem, um, all that. So if I wanted to just go to internet only, I would get all new, a whole new box all that whatever it's called <laughs> I'm not technical um, so maybe that would be a lot faster I've really got to get into the store there and get that switched over that might help but I don't know so I've just really got to be figuring that out but real quick I will just show these jewelry pieces again these were from the having fun making jewelry collab because they were to um, the pieces were to be made in like 
ocean or beach themed um, kind of like collars and I had these from one of my subscription boxes then I think they kind of look like water they're really clear um, just sort of white and then these were from these pearls here were from Joann's I believe that's where I got those from they might have been from I don't think they were from the box I think I had those left over from my patriotic pieces from the month before um, and then the findings are all from my own stash as well I believe this might have been from one of my the from the subscription box it might have been I can't remember even now what I used and then these little fish charms were from the um, monthly subscription box because the box that I used happened to be like a ocean sky themed month so that was perfect and then I had this little bead here that I got at Joann's I think either Joann's or Hobby Lobby and this was an anklet that I made and just put that little fishy charm on there and it actually I tried it on my daughter and it fit her foot so that was definitely good to know that I had the right size for an anklet and this is a necklace that I made um, just kind of looks like that Let's pull it out here we can see it better I happen to love these collars I love all the sparkly beads those are all from I believe Hobby Lobby except for I don't remember where I got those at they might have been Hobby Lobby or they could have been Joann's and then I made the matching earrings for that Thought that was cute and then here is this really fun bracelet that I made these are from Joann's by the Hilde, Hilda and Joe collection and um, this was a strand of plastic um, little skull beads and they had some plastic silver spacers that I used throughout here and then these are glass and pearl beads that were from a strand by Hilda and Joe I just thought it was fun little elastic bracelet really cute for Halloween coming up so that is and then there's a the little disco ball earrings that I made um, I believe that was for my Pinspiration collaboration project and then I have my Christmas earrings, which I think they're buried on my jewelry table right now. And then I had the patriotic pieces that I made that I've already given away. So that is, and then this was just, <laughs> my daughter gave me some of her little plastic, elastic beads or bracelets that she had. And I just was messing around. I took them apart and just kind of restrung one bracelet by alternating beads from <laughs> the two bracelets. Just made a new bracelet. <clears throat> it's just all all plastic. But I was just having fun one night. So that is everything that I worked on in July. Wasn't a lot, as you can as you saw from my notebook, but I guess anything is better than nothing. Um, so hopefully this video will be uploaded okay. Um, at least I have until 3 p.m tomorrow to have it done um, so thank you so much everyone for watching um, hope you all have a great day and uh, have a great weekend and i'll talk to you all the next time take care